A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters This is your brother Akhlaq here with another Arabic Poetry Weekly And I've got a really beautiful poem for you today It's the poem which is going to be talking about How we're all connected, living together Under one sun, on one planet Yet somehow we're all still different and we don't know each other It's by an amazing poet called Abu Nuas Now Abu Nuas, for those of you who know him will know that he's not actually an Arab, he is actually Persian born in Iran. And this is one thing you'll find which is very common for those people who study the Arabic language is that many of the big poets and many of the big scholars of the Arabic language weren't actually Arab themselves. So this gives us hope for us non-Arabs that we can master the language because many of our pious predecessors before did master the language and they weren't Arabic. So this famous poet Abu Nuas he said that all of us, we live on this world together and we put place on this world with a purpose and we've got different hopes and desires yet even though we're all here for the same purpose which is to worship God we still don't know each other and we're still very far apart and he wrote this small poem just to criticize this and maybe to remind us that we should take the time to get to know one another so he says in some beautiful lines of poetry he said Inna al-quluba li ajnadun mujannadatun lillahi fi al-ardi bil ahwahi ta'atarifu fa ma tanakara minha fa huwa mukhtalifun wa ma ta'arafa minha fa huwa mu'talifu So what did he say Abu Naas he likened the hearts of people like soldiers and what happens with an army when it comes time to enlist soldiers from all over the country will come together and they're all there for the same purpose they don't know one another they're all standing in the same rows standing in the same ranks but they don't know the person to the left and the person to the right they only know that they're all there for one purpose under one command so here he says that indeed all of the hearts they are soldiers recruited enlisted in an army and he goes, what? Under which command? Lillahi fil ard. For the sake of Allah. Under the command of Allah on this earth. So how are they differentiated? Bil ahwa'i ta'atarifu. That they're known by their desires. Every heart has different desires. Every person is different, but they're all there for the same reason. And then he goes, فَمَا تَنَاكَرَ مِنْهَا فَهُوَ مُخْتَلِفٌ And it's not that they're ignorant of one another, even though they're all different everybody knows that you know there's a soldier to my left and a soldier to my right but I don't know who he is and I don't know where he comes from and then he also goes but even though we're one army all the soldiers are connected all the hearts are connected we're all there for one purpose but we still don't know one another so it's a really really nice simile here he likens the hearts to soldiers in an army and he's reminding us get to know your brothers and sisters and your neighbors and your friends a little bit better because we're all here on the same planet on the same earth under the same sun and we all have the same wants and needs and we can still relate with one another so who was Abu Nuas? I'll give you a quick biography. Abu Nuas, his name was Abu Nuas Al-Hassan Ibn Hani Al-Hakami. He was born around 145 after Hijrah uh, in Iran. He was considered one of the greatest Arab poets towards the end of the Abbasi period, the classical Arabic period. And a lot of his poets focused on love and you know joy and you know uh, nice occasions his uh, father was Arab and his mother was Persian and you'll find he also writes poetry in Arabic and the Persian language and some say although this can't be confirmed in that he saw some of the Sahaba in one of his dreams and it was said to him oh Abu Nuas uh, what do you think Allah is going to do with you and he goes Allah is going to forgive me because of these beautiful poetry that I have composed and he composed some really really nice poetry in praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and maybe another week we can discuss those so I hope you enjoyed that 
And I hope you take the effort to get to know your brothers and sisters, your family and friends, your neighbors around you. So remember to like us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and join our mailing list at www.theoti.org. I'm your brother Akhaq. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.